Hi, this is Sam Drogi, and this video is about drying bees, drying the bees that we just finished washing. And again, the idea here is to get a nice set of good looking bees that are nice and fluffy, that have um, no pollen and no stickiness and nice good looking hair on them. And we're going to use two techniques. One technique is going to use the, an auto bee dryer that we've created, and the other just uses a simple hair dryer. Method number one, blow drying bees. So in the last video, you saw that we had washed bees in a canning jar. And um, afterwards, you um, squirted a little alcohol in there. You shook out as much water as possible. Now we have to get rid of the rest of the water and dry the bees. So we're going to use a hair dryer to do that. Um, you can use it either on heat, low heat, high heat, but you want a lot of air. So the key is uh, more air volume than heat. I use a pad so that I can um, drop the jar periodically as I'm drying so the bees which stick to the sides of the glass um, fall off and in the end, which might take anywhere from three minutes to maybe five, six, seven minutes depending on how many bumblebees you have in there, which are the worst to dry, um, you'll have bees that are just sort of swirling around in there. You can kind of tell that they're, they're done. Afterwards, look at them under the microscope to make sure that they really are as done as you like them. Um, blow dry right through the screen. Um, don't want to have the blow dryer too close or the blow dryer will uh, shut off because you've overheated the element. Put it in the freezer if that happens and that will uh, right itself. And if you do it too far away then not enough air is going through. So you have to work that out for yourself and your hair dryer. Um, you want to do that until it's thoroughly dry and then afterwards um, um, check. Those are sort of the key elements to using a blow dryer. The auto bee dryer which is the second method. So you saw in the previous video that we had a system set up with this tube and the bees are in there. They've been rinsed um, and we're now going to um, put some bubble wrap around the edge of that. There's screen on both ends so it's a, a tube with screen in it with bees inside that are wet or wet with alcohol and partially dried. Now we go to a machine that we've set up that's just a um, squirrel cage fan, in this case attached to some old piece of equipment. Um, you can find these in old uh, air conditioner units and we put a, a wooden box on it and then I'm going to stick the um, tube into the top of that box. I'm sure you can figure out a better way of doing it than what we're doing, uh, more clever and uh, the air from the squirrel cage fan is going to blow up through the tube and we're just going to leave it there. I'm going to go off, turn it on, do some email and come back in about 10 minutes um, for a small batch and maybe 15 minutes for a big batch and you might have to change that if you have a lot of bumblebees. Again, the worst thing to dry. So, and I'm going to do email and other things instead of hanging around with that hair dryer. It's very straightforward. Um, you can leave it in for a long time because there's no hot air. You can forget about it. Um, that's why I have the timer because periodically I do forget about it and the bees still come out fine. So uh, that's the basic scoop. We're going to now take those bees out and we're going to put them back into the petri dish that a long time ago we put a tag in that came in with the original World Pack. And I'm going to leave those out to dry for a couple weeks and uh, or maybe a week. And then I'm going to pin them up uh, by gluing them. You can also pin them right away but a lot of the specimens have alcohol in them and they will leak out and ruin your nicely fluffy uh, bees if you do it um, in the moment. So somewhere within the next few hours is good if you want to actually put a pin through them. We no longer do that, we just glue everything. But that's not the traditional technique.